it's always nice to come out here and fly, even if it's just getting up in the air and coming back down. It's definitely worth it. We come out pretty much every year. We want to have a good time, uh, test out our system, uh, check out everybody else's systems, look at all the all the other things other other schools are doing, and uh, be a part of the community. Of course, it's like one of the biggest competitions uh, for a UAV systems. There's a lot of teams with different systems, so we want to learn as much for our systems and our knowledge. It's fun because it's education. These students are so enthusiastic about learning to do this kind of stuff, and it is a complex, it's part of STEM. It's science, technology, engineering, math, all the disciplines of engineering, and it, it's not just aerodynamics. It, it, they have to do software, they have to do mechanical, they have to do electrical, and these students are the future of unmanned systems. They can do anything. I mean, we've got this, you'll see uh, fixed wing aircraft, you'll see rotary wing aircraft, you'll see quadcopters, you'll see hexcopters and stuff. So we don't tell them a solution. We, we just say, here it is, tell me how you're gonna, you know, how you're gonna solve it for us. And the energy that these individuals bring to the table to actually see that their engineering technical uh, know-how is translated into actionable and uh, executable hardware is, is phenomenal. The competition is supposed to simulate search and rescue for firefighters. So today we came to show our performances, our testing, and show the judges that we're ready and that we can, you know, we can win. We give them waypoints that they have to fly, and they have to fly them in order. We give them altitude restrictions, speed restrictions, so they all have to follow that. They also have no-fly zones that they're along the route, so they can't go willy-nilly any place they want. We have uh, judges that monitor them in their flight. And then they uh, also, then they'll go find targets. They keep meeting the challenges, we come up with new challenges. One of the new challenges this year is to drop. They've got to drop the payload right out over there. They're going to go out and drop a little simulated egg and they're going to be measured for accuracy. Because we've been here so long, the basic primary objectives, we definitely, we got that down. But the new objectives, especially with the, the egg drop and the infrared targets, those are new and we've definitely learned some stuff about when to drop the egg, how to work with the camera and get that data back. So that'll definitely be something we'll be using for next year. It's amazing when the kids come here and then put them all in the tent together and then how much information gets exchanged. And they talk about their problems that they had and how they fixed them. And if somebody else had a similar one, they, they exchange that. And it, it's really amazing when they, if the teams come back how they improve on their system from the year prior. This happens to be an unmanned systems competition, but we expand into the test evaluation, the logistics, into our other engineering disciplines uh, to make sure that our talent, the intellectual capital, the people that make things happen, continue to learn, expand their skill sets, identify new skill sets. Being able to come out here um, and witness uh, this, the, not just the competition, but the competitive spirit. It's absolutely phenomenal. As we uh, students are coming out, out of school and into industry, you know, it's a big change. And I think that this sort of helps smooth that transition and give us an idea, sort of like an internship, uh, of what industry is more like. Well, it's great for, for learning because in school we usually have a very theoretical knowledge. And uh, when we come here, we, we get to prove ourselves, we get to learn a lot, or two, and to promote a UAV, which is a, a great uh, technology of the future both for military and civil purposes.